Hey, this is Adam Huxima from Projection Hub, and I'm really excited to show you uh, our new product that is built specifically for contractors. Uh, so today I'm just going to walk you through uh, how this product uh, works and how hopefully it can save you a ton of time um, as you're looking to project uh, cash flow for your business. Um, but just first, I want to give a little bit of background of how we how we developed this, why we developed it. Um, so as my day job, I manage an SBA uh, loan program um, that specifically focuses on companies that aren't um, able to get funding at a traditional bank. Uh, and so uh, every year we review hundreds of loan applications um, for for small businesses and including a lot of contractors. Uh, and then on the side, uh, my brother and I uh, co-founded Projection Hub, which is a web application to help entrepreneurs create financial projections. Uh, and we we started the company back in 2012, um, but I, I'm embarrassed to say that it took me until 2019 uh, to realize just how terrible our software um, was for projecting cash flow, um, specifically for contractors and uh, project-based businesses. Um, and, and I really kind of realized this um, because I kept seeing the same story at work. So the story went like this, contractor bids on a job, they get the job, uh, and instead of celebrating, they panic. Um, oh no, how, how are we actually going to execute on this job? How are we gonna be able to pull this off? Are we gonna have enough cash to do this? And inevitably they come to the realization that they need a line of credit, so they go to the bank. Um, so the contractor walks into the bank, says, I work in commercial construction. I just got this big job and I think I need a line of credit to help float my labor and my material costs uh, that I have to pay up front while I wait to get paid uh, for my customer. And the banker says, oh, yeah, um, yeah, we don't we don't really like to lend uh, in the commercial construction industry We're um, you know, it's a risky industry, and so we just kind of tend to stay out of it. Um, it's very specialized. We just don't like to do a lot of this kind of lending. And and you could go to 10 banks and you could hear the same kind of story. So I, I started asking these larger contractors how uh, how they finance their business, and they all kept saying, well, we have big lines of credit uh, that are available if we end up having a cash flow crunch. It's like, well, why do the banks... On the one hand, say no to the small contractors, and yet the big contractors all have a line of credit. How does this work? And so the, here's the reality. The bank um, is going to want strong collateral, uh, like real estate or equipment, uh, in order to provide a line of credit. And the typical way to kind of break through and get that first uh, substantial line of credit is to just build up equity in your personal home, uh, maybe your office building or, or uh your, the the biz the warehouse or something that your business is in, um, or to build up equity and equipment that you own, and and use that leverage that to get a line of credit, um, and so um, that is uh, that's great for how the big guys got there, but that doesn't help you today because you just um, you haven't built up that equity and you just got that big job and you need to figure out how you're gonna accomplish it. So that's where Projection Hub comes in. Uh, what we do is help you impress bankers by providing a very detailed 90-day daily cash flow projection. And it takes all of your projects and it layers them on top of each other uh, to show you your expected daily cash balance every single day. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is show you how this uh, template that we've developed, how this works. Um, so if I can just get this to close for me, I'm going to show you how how this template works. So the first thing um, we did was develop a set of global um, assumptions. So these are assumptions about um, about your company, about things like payroll, your typical gross margins, um, invoicing assumptions, retainage, um, labor assumptions, how you decide to bill. Um, and when you buy materials and assumptions, all cash flow related assumptions. Um, and you can see uh, there's a lot of complication to the contractor business. So it's no wonder um, the bank is, is nervous. And so um, those are the global assumptions. Then we're going to jump into some projects. And we've got a number of project tabs in here. And so what we'll do is you'll come through and you'll add your individual projects. So I've got some 
um, demo data in here for, for a handful of projects. So I'll just show you as an example. Um, we'll put in, so every cell highlighted in blue is a cell that you um, will need to enter in uh, specific assumptions for. Now cells highlighted in orange are, are assumptions that you can change, but these all come from the global assumptions. Um, so they're kind of set as the default across all of the projects. Uh, but if you knew your gross margin on labor was going to be lower uh, on this particular project, you could change that. Um, but you're going to go through and you're going to enter in your start and end date, um, your bid uh, for the labor material and equipment portion of, of the projects. Um, you are going to minimize this a little bit um, so you can see. You're going to... Um, you're going to just double check. These are all, again, the default um, assumptions. So invoicing and retainage and labor, all of those are default assumptions. You'll have a, a completion schedule and then um, dates of when you'll purchase materials, equipment. And so all these things, really, what you what you need to do on each project is just enter in these few details up here. Um, and so with those details in, in hand, um, you'll be able to just quickly add all of your projects um, with that default. And then, of course, change any global assumptions that you might need per project. Once you do all that, what you're going to get is this really handy 90 day cash balance graph. Um, this gonna show you, is going to show you um, exactly why and show the banker by day um, exactly how much cash you'd expect to have in the bank and look you know you can have huge swings here from close to three million dollars when you get paid from all these projects um, down to your lowest cash balance in the next 90 days is thirty three thousand uh, dollars and so um, you know you can you can show the banker exactly why and how much capital you need to execute on these projects um, and the banker's going to be able to dig in and play around and change assumptions if they want to uh, and and uh, really uh, prove that you have a good handle on your uh, projections. So um, that's the template. Here's the thing. Uh, we really want your feedback. We really want um, we want to set up a call. We want to talk to you. We want to answer your emails. Um, every time we talk to another contractor, we end up improving the template. It ends up getting better and better over time. So, um, what I'd hope you'd happen would happen is that you would uh, reach out with an email, tell us about your unique situation, tell us um, what you're trying to accomplish, and uh, why you need cash flow projections. And you know, if we need to customize something for you, we'd love to try to do that for you. Um, if if you need any help, um, support, kind of working through getting all your data into um, the model we'd love to help you with that as well so uh, again please reach out support at projectionhub.com and we would love to hear from you thanks